Welcome back to Super Mud Camp's Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. And as you have already been told, this time we're going to be doing Route number 102 and Petalburg City. Um, if you haven't done so already, you should probably heal up. Heck, I'm going to go do that right now. Yeah, I forgot to mention that I'm also going to be cutting the Pokemon Center trips. Because those are just so boring, except for the first one. Okay, on to Route 102. Yeah, this one is really important. Now, um, before you can... Uh, this is a one-way ledge, so you can't go over. You can run around in this tall grass right now. Okay, trainer news. I have now caught a Zigzagoon. He's not really going to be all that important in battles, but he's good for learning HMs that you get later on in the game. I think you can learn like six of them. Moving on, um, this person right here, there's absolutely no way you can get to Petalburg without battling him. Uh, you need to have a Pokemon I recommend at least level 7 to take him on. So, I'm just going to do the classic trainer I match. Walk in front of him. And he's going to challenge you to a battle. Now, since this is kind of an important trainer battle, I'm going to leave it at normal speed. But the next one will be sped up. Don't you just love those critical hits? Now, if I was able to catch other trainer's Pokemon, I would most definitely catch that Poochiana, because that had probably like 1 HP. Okay, there we go. And you're going to get $80. Okay, so from now on, they're going to be sped up. Um, you have two choices. You are able to avoid this trainer here. There are four trainers on this route. Uh, this guy's number two. If you want to avoid him, go through the tall grass. But... I'm just going to take him on right now. Okay. Uh, this person right here won't battle you, so you can talk to him. Jeez, are you allergic or something? Okay. You can either walk... I'm going to walk in front of this guy later, but I'm just going to show you that these are what berries look like. Um... And I could count orange berries towards my five healing items that I always have. Um, Pizza berries, I only bought a couple antidotes because pizza berries are free antidotes, basically. Uh, you can buy, um, in some places, you can buy them for like what? Yes. You can buy them for like what? $20? I call it a great deal. Um, will it. Okay, um, I'm not going to go down there. There is a potion down there, but we are now in Petalburg City. And I quote the user Super Skarmory on his Emerald walkthrough. And this is the city with the addicting music. Um, so this is, uh, this is the only city that plays this particular music. Um, this city has one new feature. It has a Pokemon gym in it. And this is gym number five in the order that you're going to be defeating the gyms. So, um, and there's nobody that's going to battle you. So, let me give you a tour of Petalburg. This house. Yeah, and I got shipped in the back of a moving truck, which I need to remember to run back to Little Root and scream my head off at Mom for, because she made me ride in the back of a moving truck. I call that no fair. What do I see in, in my face? Let's go over here. I see... Nothing but either time that's being wasted or an electronically generated character generated by Nintendo, Game Freak, and the people that make Pokemon. Let's move!
So these guys are going to be talking about being on an adventure with Pokemon and kind of some other random stuff. What am I doing? I'm just wasting time. Uh, now, here's the Pokemart. Um, you can buy... Um, here you can also buy escape ropes, repels, um, orange mail, X attack, X defend, and X speed here. Um, besides the items that you could get in Old Ale Town. And so it's ba so they basically have a, kind of like a deck or a, a 10 for 1. Um, you, whoa. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you try to leave to the west and try to go to route number 104. Yeah, that's right. 103 is to the north of Old Ale. If you try to go to 104, this guy's going to drag you to the gym. So, apparently, I have no choice. I mean, come on. I need to go to Rustboro right now so that I can get my gym badge. Uh, but here is the Petalburg City Gym. And inside is the beloved dad. And instead of him asking me, well, how am I? And what's going on? Well, he's just saying stuff about Pokemon and how I got here. This is Wally. Wally isn't necessarily a rival, but he does qualify for important battles. Okay. Now, here we go. This part, you can take a nap in. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold my DS here so that those of you who don't know... How to catch a Pokemon, you can see it for yourself, okay? Um, now what's really kind of interesting here is of all Pokemon, Wally encounters a route. And it is possible to encounter a route on route number 102. Um, I think it's a 4% encounter rate. So, anyway. Uh, let's just go to sleep here. Okay, so now he's going to drag you back to the gym, and um, you can still half nap here, just make sure that you have your finger on the A button. Um, okay, now you're getting ready to head to Rustboro. Okay, now since you are, now since he's the fifth gym, uh, then that means that you're going to need to defeat four gyms before you do him, okay? So now let's head west, and then this guy, he's going to come up, and he's going to say, well, no, you look like either an ordinary kid or just some rookie trainer. Um, he doesn't really battle you, he's kind of important, but, you know, not super important. Next time, route number 104, and maybe a sneak peek of the Petalburg Woods. 